as you can see in the picture, these are our learners of today. They are what we call millennials, and they are challenging to the perspectives of teaching and learning. They are digital natives. They involuntary master gadgets and technologies available in today's market. They are capable of multitasking. Nonetheless, they have less attention span of time and easily get bored if encountered familiar, if not a monotonous routines and tasks. As a teacher, it is our responsibility to help our learners become motivated and engaged in our lessons. And as a science educator, it is my responsibility to help my learners apply what they learned in a real life situation. And as a researcher, it is my task to innovate and help the learning and teaching process. To all the participants, to my co-researchers, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce my research paper entitled Flip Classroom for Millennials, Engaging and Enhancing Learners' Academic Performance. I am Warner B. Riponte, a teacher too from Sultan Ali de Mapuro Memorial Integrated School. This study is concerned on the possibility of enhancing learners' academic performance and engagement in earth and life science where the usual classroom instruction is done outside the classroom instruction schedule, which include the use of technology in improving readiness. Moreover, the usual home-based activities are done using the whole classroom instruction time to maximize teacher to, to learner and learner to learner interactions inside the class. The classroom becomes portable, henceforth, the learning becomes anywhere and anytime. And those are the rationale why this study came into light. Since this study investigated the effects of flipped classroom on the academic performance and engagement in earth and life science, this also endeavors to answer the following questions. These are the research questions. First is, what is the academic performance in earth and life science of the grade 11 learners using flipped classroom? Second, is there a significant difference in the academic performance in earth and life science between the pre-test and post-test of the learners using flipped classroom? And last, what is the engagement in earth and life science of grade 11 learners using flipped classroom. Of course, let us now move on to the scope and limitation. This study was conducted at Sultan Ali de Mapuro Memorial Integrated School, or known as SADMIS, where the researcher is currently connected, and at Sultan Naga de Mapuro Memorial Integrated School, or also known as SNDMIS, in SND District Sultan Naga de Mapuro Lanao del Norte, school year 2019-2020. This study was delimited to investigate the academic performance and engagement in earth and life science of grade 11 learners using the flipped classroom. The topics will cover first quarter of the grade 11 earth and life science. And the conduct of the study was during the first grading since earth and life science for the grade 11 was taught during this grading period. And also in this study, the duration of the conduct of the lessons lasted for three weeks. Now, who are the participants of this study? Well, the participants of this study are the learners of the humanities and social science grade 11 of both school that I have mentioned earlier in Sultan Naga de Mapuro, school year 2019-2020. The researcher chose 60 learners from two intact classes assigned as respondents. The five lessons in earth and life science were developed using flipped classroom. The academic performance test in earth and life science serve as the research instruments. The researcher used the quasi-experimental pre-test, post-test research design to test the effects of the flipped classroom on the academic performance of grade 11 learners. 
The data was delimited to the scores in the post-test of the respondents in the academic performance test in Earth and Life Science. The test was administered after the last lesson. The mean paired sample t-test were used to treat the data. I always believe that the soul of every research is, is its methodology. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me uh, discuss to you the research methodology of my research. So, of course, there are parts. First, we have sampling method. We have the data collection, which is composed of three phases. We also have research instruments. I'm going to discuss first how I did my sampling method. So, of course, I have mentioned already the participants of the study who, who were the grade 11 learners from humanities and social science of two schools, SADMIS and SNDMIS. And I also developed five lessons in earth and life science using the flipped classroom. And I also used the quasi experimental pre test post test research design. And also, I I used research instruments, which are the achievement test and, and the engagement questionnaire. For the data collection, there are three stages or three phases. The first is the pre-development stage. The pre-development stage is the part where the preparation in writing the lessons using the flipped classroom based on the learning competencies of the K-12 curriculum. It also contained needs analysis and also the planning of the lessons and the designing stage. For the phase two, this is now the development stage. This stage is the writing and making of the lessons as well as the preliminary revisions of the developed lessons. And last phase for the data collection, we have the validation and revision. So for validation, the lessons were submitted to the panel of experts for corrections and suggestions. So in this ma matter, my experts, I have invited teachers, of course, teachers from DepEd and also uh, professors from state universities to become a panel of experts. Of course, the panel of experts were the teachers and experts in making IMs in lesson materials. This was to ensure the, val the validity of the content and instruments. So let's now move on to my research instruments. I used the the, re, the Earth, sorry, the Earth and Life Science Academic Performance Test, or I call it ELAP, and the Student Engagement Earth and Life Science, or the SEEL, as our, as my research instrument. So the ELAP or the Achievement Test was constructed by yours truly for an equal distribution of the items. Of course, the US was created and also the achievement tests undergo pilot testing and the C, the engagement um, questionnaire was utilized to determine the engagement of the learners towards learning earth and life science. Now let's now move on to the last part of the research methodology. So the data analysis. So for problem one, the mean and standard deviation was used to determine the academic performance of grade 10 learners who were taught with a flipped classroom. For the problem two, to test the significant difference in the academic performance in earth and life science, the paired sample t-test at 0.5 level of significance was used. Finally, the mean and standard deviation was used for problem three. To, uh, to assess the learner's engagement, earth, and life science. So that's it, my research methodology. Let's now move on to the result and discussion. So I will now discuss the results and discussion for problem one. We have here the first table, the academic performance of earth and life science, grade 11. In table one, as you can see, the pre-test scores of the respondents show that the academic performance of the learners did not meet expectation. The learners in the pre-test struggled with the understanding of the fundamental knowledge and skills. The result reveals that all the learners had almost the same background of the topics. 
The results in the pretest also indicate that the levels of learners' abilities were quite the same and therefore reasonable for the conduct of the research. Also, on the posted scores, learners have a much higher mean than that of the pretest. So the learners had a satisfactory proficiency level. This indicates that the learners developed the fundamental knowledge, skills, and understanding of the topic. The result of the study corroborates with a flipped classroom study of ATWA 2016, who alleged that flipped classroom is very effective and affect the academic achievement of, this, of science positively. It also stressed in the study that teachers' relation with learners become better than before than that caused the learners to become more active inside the classroom. And another study from Brain 2013 who described that the flipped classroom is a teaching approach where learners gain first exposure to new material outside of class, usually via reading, or videos and then classroom instruction time is used to do harder work of assimilating and supplementing that knowledge through strategies such as problem solving discussion and other collaborative activities let us now discuss the result for question two so we have here the table two comparison of pre-test and post-test scores of the respondents using paired t-test as shown in table two the p-value was less than the set level of significance at 0.05 so this shows that there is a significant difference in the academic performance between the learners pre-test and the learners post-test so the learners learned the concept significantly after using the flipped classroom. Moreover, the finding of the present study affirms to the study of Holick 2016, where he compared the effectiveness of flipped classroom and traditional classroom student engagement and teaching method, supplemented the study. The study used an action-based research approach was designed to gather evidence from a technical education program to determine if learners perform better in the flipped classroom or traditional classroom. So perceptions of the learners and instructor indicated engagement in the flipped classroom were higher in the flipped classroom than the traditional classroom. For the question three, let's move on and know how engage our learners. So we have here the table three, learners engagement in earth and life science using flipped classroom. So generally the, the data in table three shows the mean and the standard deviation of student engagement in the cognitive, emotional, and social type of engagement. And the result reveals that learners were often engaged in earth and life science using flipped classroom as teaching, as teaching approach. And we can say that the overall mean and standard deviation revealed that the learners were highly engaged in their earth and life lessons. And this further indicates that the use of flipped classroom as teaching approach was effective since it gives a high level of engagement on the part of the learners. Also, study from Brahman 2017, which investigated the effect of flipped classroom on computer science students' engagement among pre-university students is in parallel to the findings of the study. Findings revealed that the learners in the experimental group, which is in a flipped classroom, were highly engaged. So as we, as we all know, we are already facing uh, a pandemic and a paradigm shift in, in the teaching process is very important. And I believe flipped classroom, or also known as blended learning, is very useful and timely in today's situation. Of course, before I will end my discussion on my research, there are recommendations that I made based on the results of the study. 
Of course, the use of flipped classroom may be encouraged and adopted by science teachers, especially in the Department of Education, Division of Lanao del Norte, to enhance the academic performance of the learners and to develop learners' engagement towards science. And there is a need for the teachers to have a continuous quest on the professional growth and development that is in the teacher's ability to innovate pedagogies and teaching approaches that may cater the digital native learners. And by that, flipped classroom could be our answer. And also to the future research studies may consider similar discussion and topics and make use of heterogeneous group of intact classes. And that ends my discussion on my research entitled Flip Classroom for Millennials, Engaging and Enhancing Learners' Academic Performance. Thank you so much, everyone, for listening. Once again, this is Warner B. Reponte from Sultan Ali de Mapuro Memorial Integrated School. If you have questions, you may contact me on my personal email, reponte.warner at gmail.com. Again, Thank you and have a great day, everyone. God bless.